welcome again to BSF Recovery Team. I have another recovery video for you. I think you'll like this one. When we arrived on the scene of this rollover, they already had a couple of wench rigs at the top of the hill and were ready to flip it back onto its wheels. Once they got it back onto its wheels, they noticed a little bit of a problem. The driver's rear tire was pinched pretty good between some big boulders. And the owner of the Beetle didn't want to fire it up for fear that it might be hydrolocked with oil. So we offered to try and back the wrecker up the hill close enough to pick up the back end of the Beetle. So what year is it? 69. Super Beetle. Super Beetle? Yeah, it's got And you flopped it over on its side. What kind of tires? 50 inch tractor tires. And what's under the hood? 419 Ford Stroker motor. Backing up the hill over the rocks proved to be quite difficult. And I don't think I would have been able to do it at all without the new Grizzly locker. Careful, I think we better pull forward and try a little different line. Once we got the wrecker close enough, we figured we'd wrap a strap around the Rockwell axle and lift it right out by the wheel. We soon found out that the drive line on the Beetle was all bound up and it was stuck in gear, but that didn't slow down the wrecker much. Once we got the beetle's rear end up out of the hole and it was able to roll now, we decided we could unhook, drive the wrecker down to the bottom of the hill. Going forward and downhill was a whole lot easier than backing it up there. With the winch cable still attached to the front, and also using one on the rear, we were able to work the bug down to the bottom of the hill on the flat ground.
knowledge like that. Once we got it down to level ground, the owner was able to check the fluids, pull the plugs out, turn it over, make sure it wasn't hydrolocked with oil. Then he put the plugs back in, fired it up, went wheeling for the rest of the day. Thanks for watching BSF Recovery Team. Maybe we'll see you in the woods.